Okay, hi, this is uh, King Roy. I'm here in a small town of Millenburg County, Kentucky, and it's, um, uh, there's a, actually, it's a tree here, and it's in an undisclosed part of the county because it's private property. But I have a fellow here that uh, knows the origin of this tree, and I'll just let him talk to you a little bit more about it. Hello. Um, tell you what, this tree has been here since I was a kid, and I'm now 47 years old. I was born and raised here at the location where this tree was. And just by, just by chance, I was here, I guess, about a month ago, and I happened to be just looking at the tree, and was, I was comparing it to the other trees that were around it. And when I looked at the other trees around it, I noticed that this tree was three to four times bigger for some reason than the other trees that were around it. So I got to think it back to more and wonder why this was so. And the only thing that came to my mind was that since the time I was 10 years old coming to this park here, uh, I've known, uh, you might not, you might take this in a strange way, but I've known this tree to have certain things done to it that the other trees didn't, uh, you know, by the means of uh, urination. You know, and I know it sounds gross, whatever, like, you know, but that's what that's so, how it was. So they pissed on the tree. They pissed on the tree. Well, they didn't have nowhere else. The park didn't want to take the time out to put a part of potty in the park, you know, so that they have somewhere decent to piss. So whatever they had the urge to piss, in which there was a normal reaction, they pissed on the tree. And this is the result of the tree right now. Well, let's take a look at this tree, man. All right, let's do this. How you zooming in, Juan? As you're walking up through here, this is some of the trees that I was talking about that were here along and around the same time that we noticed this tree up here when I was a kid. They're kind of puny, ain't they? They are very puny. Very puny and very underfed for some reason. <laughs> they should have been pissed on, too. <laughs> Wow, it is a big tree, ain't it? So you're saying that, that this bad boy here, the reason it's so big, and it's probably the same age as the other ones, is because it's been pissed on. There's no other explanation. I mean, you look around, and you see the other trees that have been around it. You know, these trees, you know, have been here, you know, since I was a child. And although we've had, you know, some acts of nature to come through, such as ice storms and wind storms, like, you know, they, some of all these trees are still standing, and you can look at them and tell that there's no comparison to this tree right here for some reason. And my own, the only explanation I can come to is that it was from the pit. Right. You That's know. It's a huge bitch. It's, I mean, it's, it's an avatar tree. They could have used this tree on avatar. Or avatar. It's an avatar. Yeah, this tree could have been used on the avatar. Well, that's we don't see little pit. blue guys jumping from the trees coming at it. No, no, back then it was winos and so, hood rats that so, was jumping those pissing on it. They were so, jumping. So what kind of what kind of wood do you would you say this was? <sighs> piss wood. Piss wood? Piss wood. And they'd be like in the piss old family. Piss old family. My might, might, might come for the piss old you know, which, which probably would be a new find I would think because I've never heard of a piss oak. So, if anyone interested in probably finding out more about this tree, as like you know, um, we'll be more than glad to give the location or our website probably where you can hit us up at, and uh, for more details about where this huge tree stands. You know, because it is it is a mystery. You know you why it grew so large. It's a mystery. So, uh, hey, hit me up on Facebook. You know where I'm at. Uh, for YouTube followers, uh, find me on Facebook. Peace. Peace.